friends welcome to my workplace at ranakhat west bengal india this is a soft cataract the surgery is being done under topical anesthesia ocular surface has been anesthetized by proparacaine eye drop now after the main incision i am using phenocaine this is a combination of gilocaine tropicamide and phenylephrine this is a product of entote pharmaceutical india and now i'm going to stain the anterior capsule with trypan blue dye for better visibility so that i can do the capsulorexis easily red glow is not good in this case so i had to use this dye now anesthesia is good the patient is cooperative and the anterior chamber has been filled up with 2% hbmc and now capsulorexis with ureter forceps introduce the ureter lift the anterior lip of the main wound incise the anterior capsule with the tip of the ureter forceps raise a capsular tag now guide this tag in such a way that we get a rexis of about 5.5 mm it is always better to make a rexis larger than 5 mm and little less than 6 mm because the capsular opening will contract over a period of time and to prevent capsular phimosis the rexis should be a little larger than 5 mm And now I'm using a pre-chopper, Dr. Sohail Khan's pre-chopper for division of the nucleus. I forgot to make the side pore head is, and now I use the pre-chopper in my in my right hand and the ball chopper in my. left hand and divide the nucleus in this way one hemi nucleus has been divided into two pieces and now the nucleus management is going to be damn easy because the nucleus has already been divided into three fragments Uh, here goes the feco needle this is oatly machine faros from oatly and bevel down i a lift one piece try to lift on piece but here i am going to divide this piece first and then emulsify this semi nucleus i'm not using the chopper because antechamber stability is much more if we don't use the chopper and i usually make a little larger side port leakage is more so intermittently i stuff using chopper so that stability of the anterior chamber is good it is done i try to remove the cortex from 2 o'clock by the feco needle itself it didn't come inject injecting some visco that is 2% hpmc and now i'm going to use a 23 gauge simco cannula for removal of the cortex here it is so the cortex all around has come only the sub incisional cortex is still remaining go through the 
side port and remove the cortex from the sub incisional area and there is only on side port and now a uh, hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular pack this lens is from Johnson & Johnson this is sensor 1 it's a beautiful lens I haven't seen any glistening in this lens Technis 1 and sensor 1 this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side port has been closed by hydrating corneal stroma and finally this is the antechamber lavage to remove any particulate matter and to form the antechamber with BSS. The antechamber is nicely formed. Integrity of the wounds are checked. There is no leakage from the wounds. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. This pre-chopper is a nice tool. I find it very useful soft for soft cataracts. You may try this instrument and if you find it useful, this is, I think this is a good tool to try out.